there. It's gonna be an easier way to get out of the lights over there than one. I used to take the little thing and jump on that glass because it stretches all over there too. Yeah. Wow, yeah, you, that's, a, that's a haul too. Wow. Well, usually without traffic, it just takes me about 30 minutes. Huh? I feel like I have to go to the Ready? What? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Hit it hard! I got some Amazon things in that I ordered for the car just to do some more organizing of it. I really want to keep this car as organized as we can. So here's some of the stuff I got. I'm gonna put it in and see how it ends up working. But so I got these little plasticky type bags. Um, they're really popular for even just traveling and packing and stuff. And so they come in a pack of, I don't know, what. I don't know how many came in the pack, but there's a ton and there's tons of big ones. So I'm gonna probably use these for something different, but I'm gonna use the two smaller ones for in the car for the glove compartment area. I need to organize that area because it's just a big, it's just a big open space, which I like. So I just wanna keep it organized. So I'm gonna keep, probably as you can see, I have a thing of Advil in here and probably some lotions and hair things and just things that we're gonna need just in the car and pens. So I have those I'm gonna use. I already have this in the car. It's just a charging cable. It's like the um, twisted kind. So it kind of retracts back when you're not using it. And I got this kind of, it's actually a junk drawer organizer type thing but I got it for the car and you can kind of clip it together to make whatever size you want it to be. So I thought that might be good for the car. So I'm gonna try and play around with this and build, build whatever size I feel like will work good in there. 
along with these little bags it'll go in the glove compartment and then I got just some silver license plate holders just though I obviously don't want to keep I don't want to keep the the dealer one on the car so I'm gonna put just some nice nice silver one it came in a pack of two but we're just gonna need the one so I'll use one and then keep the other one probably for Josh's car let me get that and I think oh no that's not it and then one more thing I got I've been wanting an emergency gadget of some kind for the car I don't know why just as being a mom baby you have those fears of if something happens you're not able to protect your kids or do anything about it you're just stuck if if for some reason we I mean it sounds so stupid but if we for some reason go into a water of some kind or if there's like a flood or I guess that's more logical here in Arizona if there's any flash floods or something and we have to get out of the car and for some reason we can't open the doors it's got where you can break the window um you can cut the seat belts I forgot I think it has a couple other things it can do there's no flashlight um there's some that do just tons of different things but I kind of wanted it simpler just so that I'm you know if anything happens I'm not freaking out of you know what how to make the gadget do the right thing so I'll probably end up getting a flashlight as well but seatbelt cutter and a window breaker are the main things I got this for and like I said I forget what else it does but so we have that for the car as well so I'm gonna put these in the car and then I'll probably show kind of more of the organization that I'm hope, hoping to do for the car so it stays nice and clean. We just stopped at Target to get a few more things that I think we should have in the car. I think there's a bunch of other things that I was thinking of getting, but it just kept it simple for now. But I just got some hand lotion, some antibacterial spray, some band-aids, in case and then some travel wipes these are the wipes that I'm gonna be using with the baby so it's just a travel one that I'll probably keep in the glove compartment in case and one thing I did forget that I wanted to get was um, tissue like a travel tissue pack for the kids so I'll have to still get one of those but just some things that I think we'll, we'll need inside the car all right, so I wanted to show some of the organization I've done for the car so far. And so on the glove compartment, I love that it's so nice and big compared to the Mercedes. So in here, I just put those little containers that connect. And so I built it about that big. I thought was enough room for other stuff. So I put just some pens in here. I'll probably throw in some pencils um, just for any signing of checks or anything for the kids. This little compartment I'm going to use for just our little punch cards. This one we always like to use Bahama Bucks. So it's easy to grab. This will be just for, for change. And then here I have two different antibacterial stuff. The one I just bought, the spray, and then this one that I've had. I might stick this one back in my bag but so antibacterial stuff there right here I have a microfiber cloth that I use to kind of keep the that I use to keep the car clean usually our screen gets really dirty with fingerprints because it's touch screen so I like to have that accessible so we can keep that clean because I hate fingerprints on stuff so we just tuck that in there and then here's those little plastic bags that I got Let's see in this one I just have that lotion that I just got and what else? I think I have I just put this in there because I got this in a little free package thing this honest company and then I put in some Advil so I have those in there for now and I actually wanted to grab a little sunscreen because it's so hot here just if Nyla forgets 
to put sunscreen on that we have some in the car so I didn't they didn't have the kind I wanted so I just waited on that and then the other container or the other plastic bag that I have is just for some band-aids so I just got that pack of band-aids and threw kind of a variety of different size band-aids in here in case something with the kids you never know they're always getting cut so just put band-aids in there so that all actually fits perfectly and like I said I did want to get a little pack of tissue to have in here for the kids so I'll have to get that still but so that's what's in the glove compartment and then here is nice and clean hoping to keep out trash from inside here but this is the cord that I got for our phones so that it matches it retracts back in and we can keep our phones in there nicely so I like that one we had a long white one before and it was just all over the place so this one works really well that it retracts back in and it matches so that keeps that clean and then in the glove compartment I just have those wipes that I just got the travel wipes baby wipes these are just some water wipes I threw in there that I got in that free baby package thing so I just have those in there I'll take them out probably but the wipes and then there here is here is that safety mechanism that I put in here so and then just the manual book is in there with everything else so now I'm loving keeping our car clean up there is just where Josh will put glasses or his wallet but hopefully no junk goes up there but so far hopefully we'll keep it clean in here and here's the back seat the kids have done so far so so good there's Jolby's booster I gotta take the water out and then Bravely's um, Bravely's car seat's gonna go there and then the back seat is where one of the kids I think Jolby normally sits back there except for when he's got school he sits up here and then back here it's kind of messy Josh forgot to take out the chairs and everything for baseball but that'll hopefully be out when we're not using it we have one seat down this is the one that Joel B normally sits on and then I got this trunk organizer with a um, a built-in cooler just in case for waters when we're out so here is that trunk organizer you just unsnap And I just noticed this, it's actually got Velcro on the bottom. So when you put it down on your trunk, it actually will stick. So there's the trunk organizer. It's actually Velcroed on there a little bit, which is kind of nice. So, and it's got a little zipper on the side here to put things in. It's got this opening in here. And then here's the cooler part. So you close it and it'll keep drinks. It's got some storage there. And then it folds back up if you don't need it. So this is going to become handy with baseball games and stuff. So here's the back seat. I love that they came with these sun shades. They retract into the car. It'll be great for when we have the little one. And like I said, we're keeping it pretty clean. I just have a water that somebody forgot in here already. But I love it came with these um, weather, all weather mats inside, which I've been wanting. I have just some of my gym stuff right now in there control their own air and I was thinking of getting little things little pockets for the seat back but I just think it looks really messy and the kids are old enough they don't need a bunch of junk in the car so I decided 
not to get that and they usually will bring their own stuff in their backpacks if we're traveling so and then it's got a cup holder in the middle like I said Nyla will sit there once we have the baby Joby will be back here and then bravely will be just right here with her car seat and then it opens up and there we have one seat down for the trunk for our baseball stuff. It's got the all-weather mats in there. And that's where Jolby normally sits. So, it's working pretty good for us so far. So, I love these little sunshades that go up and down for the kids. It's so sunny here. All right, so that's about everything for like a little mini car tour and kind of how I'm organizing the car. This is that trunk organizer. This I got from Target, so I think it was 20 bucks. But it looks to be like a good, looks to be good back there. And it's cool, it actually has where it'll show the navigation up here, which is why we got the, the R line, which is the most expensive you can get in the Atlas. So, um, yeah, you can change everything over here, switch things around. Like I said, you can have the navigation up there, so it's kind of a better spot to see. Um, and then this screen is touch screen, so we can change the music on here. So yeah so far it's working well it's not as powerful obviously as my mercedes was but you know it is cheaper a little bit cheaper we actually got a pretty expensive atlas but just because we wanted all the features and but yeah